So, uh, literally the battery was off, so couldn't make the video of the whole uh, craziness. But uh, first, I went to the one of the two local beaches, which is very different than uh, the ones up in Key West. <clears throat> it's uh, it's quite empty so that's first of all it's good they have a shower for a whole body which is cool uh, a little bit of an ant infested uh, toilet <clears throat> next to that you can go real deep into it and it has all kinds of uh, different sections to it stuff people building it and so on and a bunch of shoes try to make a Griffith castle the usual but yeah it's nice I like it um, so to that part I went in there uh, met a couple talked to them a little bit met them again at the toilet house then they left uh, I took a shower and when I was about to go down there there was a guy sitting in the car for a while so he's like well I'll show you something there I'm like alright fair enough because uh, I was ready to for going to sleep because I didn't sleep the night before in uh, Key West so I went in there and he was like all of a sudden he was like hey can you show me my, your dick. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, man, you gotta ask someone else right now, man. So, and he ran off, like, real quick, which is good. Because I'm, fuck, hey, I'm not about that, and fuck you asking that anyways, man. You know, hook up on the internet, do something about you. <clears throat> about your fucking pleasure problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's gone, and uh, I hang up my hammock, 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 hang that up, and uh, it works good, it's nice at the water, all good, I fall asleep, wake up, it's finally dark. <clears throat> But uh, I see the thunder coming, so I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Can't be just straight at the water when the thunder's there. Ain't good. So I packed my stuff. I wanted to go out the front of the beach. That didn't work, cause the gate is closed. So I'm like, ah, man, what am I gonna do with that? <clears throat> when, the, when the gate is closed, that ain't so good. Maybe they're gonna come there. I walked around it at the beach, and fair enough, there's a, all kinds of openings so you can go, come out. I don't think it's a big issue there, in general, <laughs> they're, they're not, I don't think they're there to milk the people out everywhere here in Marathon, but uh, time will tell. So I went out of there. I just followed one road, my battery was flat by then, so I couldn't check my GPS. And I think I went to the, yeah, that was the, was the park, the national park or something. So anyways, I had my lamp on, and uh, I was biking, so I switched it out. All of a sudden, and something running at me, so I bike fast, like lightning that fast. The dog. So there's dogs in the bushes there. Well, I found a good spot, <clears throat> nice spot. Put it all up with the lamp, hammock up between the trees. Beautiful needle, needle, uh, needles from needle trees <laughs> on the bottom. And uh, yeah, that's good. That was good. So I caught some sleep there. It was all good and by the round. Two or three, yeah, between them, shit, the mosquitoes. <laughs> and 
Not just a few, a whole bunch. So I tried to cover up in the hammock, but the, that didn't work too well. Because the, the fucker sting through it. So they, if you turn around on your, on your belly and you're in the hammock, then they're gonna sting you in the forehead through the ni nylon. <clears throat> nah. Lucky enough, I had uh, from my family, I got that anti buck spray. So I took it and I pfft, made one huge cloud on me and around me and the whole hammock. And yeah, all of a sudden, you know, they didn't came through. They wanted to. But they just shivered above it. And I fell back asleep and I didn't have any problems with them anymore. So today I woke up there, got my things, cleaned up real good. And I bike back and I saw the dog. And that nature preserve fuck. And it's a, it's a big shepherd. It's a huge one. So he's down there. And where's one, there's usually more. Well, today I'm gonna check on that shelter here. There's a couple of them, cause I do want to work regularly. Uh, I looked it, would like to give it a shot here for living, but I don't want to have all the expenses on food. And so far, so good. I always cook at work in Florida, um, but. No, I want to have that set up that I get my food and stuff like that and I don't have to carry everything with me for a while and that I can focus on income. So, I'll try that today. Uh, till 2 o'clock, got some time. I'm going to discover that island. I think it's beautiful. Reminds, it's an iguana island though. There's big iguanas here. Huge. And <laughs> they keep on running. I call it my head, I call it Iguana Island. A lot of them waving crabs too. It's cool. Well, I was sitting here, that used to be a restaurant, and I think these are the the, the, the poles it's standing on. So it was around here, and I got blown away by the hurricane, Irma, and uh, a marathon got it quite heavy from Irma, as far as I see. You see it at the beach too, so it changed it. It's, it's more open and uh, open landscape, a little bit more. You can still see some damages, but I think it works also like that. That's a reason why they're not so controlled and they're a controlled fetish. All right, let's see what the day brings later.